Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're gonna be jumping into FTB or Feed the Beast Pyramid Reborn 3.0. This is the brand new update for the Pyramid Map. All right, so let's just jump right into this. We're gonna select and create a world from template. We have the top one is the multiplayer mode. This is the single player mode. We're gonna be going to single player and bam, we have a new world created. And let's go ahead and load into this. So the the pack and the everything itself loads really fast. So I would say that most people should be able to play this pack fairly easy. Um, but yeah, in, when you start in single player, you start here on your little island. And this is all you have to start with. All right, so it says press J to hide, press U to move. So I guess this is a timer. So this is our little timer here. Um, J to hide. But I guess as soon as we open this chest, a timer is probably going to start and it's going to let us know. So we have a few things here. Uh, this is not going to be like a speed run for me by no means. Um, but we have more dirt. We have a few different things here. Uh, trees all this, the resource generator, cursed earth, clay axe, and uh, a book crate. So that we have somewhere to place our books, I'm guessing. As you can see, the timer did start. I am going to go ahead and grab this chest because we are gonna need that as soon as possible. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we do have some stuff down here. If we kind of peek, there are things down here. And this is gonna be a big part of this map. Um, and yes, I don't know if you guys remember the old pyramid map um, as you can see, we don't really have shift, so we don't have that mod in here, but we can single click and get wood. Oh, we do have an axe. That is really nice. So let's just go ahead and do the basic stuff. You guys know how this works. We're going to be farming trees. We're going to be farming a lot of stuff, uh, but we need to watch for our saplings and hope we get another sapling. Oh boy. That is a big part of this, is is hoping you get a sapling. And hoping that one sapling that does fall back down. Oh, we got a sapling. Good, good, good. Hopefully we get more. There we go. All right, we've already doubled our outcome. We should be good from this point. <laughs> you never know. Uh, okay, we got three. Good, 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 good. You never know. Sometimes you can get one of those trees that are just so stubborn, and you get no saplings from them. All right, so we got four. Uh, I do want to grow these one at a time because you have a higher chance of getting um, more yield. But yeah, let's go ahead and throw this down. Now, we do have this right here, resource generator. If we take a look at the resource generator, you can see that for a little bit of power, it actually produces stuff. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Uh, this is FTB's, actually, uh, FTB's resource generation which is um, pretty new to most people, if you guys haven't played the pyramid map. Instead of uh, starting off with like um, X Nihilo or Sky Resources or anything like that, you get this as an option, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we're gonna be doing a lot of videos and covering most of uh, this, this, this map. And uh, we're gonna cover sections. Each section we're gonna cover how to do uh, each step. And um, that way you guys can, you know, have a speed run going of this if you wanted to. You guys pretty much have a guide uh, showing you the ropes. So most of these videos are going to be separated into different sections, which is going to be pretty cool for most, and, and, and it's going to be very helpful for most. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that before we get started, that this is uh, kind of how it's going to be formatted. So uh, if we look at our quest book, you can see we have different sections that are going to require different things. Um, one of the earlier sections is talking about basic drawers. Uh, it looks like these things have changed. Uh, so if you guys have played this before, uh, a few of these things have changed and they are a little bit different. Uh, we do have the, the basic drawer here, and as you see, you get rewards for completing these tasks. And I'm really liking this, this guidebook, by the way. The quest book is really cool. Um, we also have a guidebook, and this guidebook sets here and, and kind of talks about the cobble gin. And explains. If you guys have, have seen this before, you're very familiar with it if you've played Age of Engineering, because this type of this guidebook was actually used very heavily in Age of Engineering back in 1.10. Um, but uh, Laffian has uh, definitely upgraded this uh, this guidebook. He's also the one who has uh, worked on this. So some pretty cool stuff has gone on, and uh, expect to see more 
of this quest book in the future because you're you're going to be seeing this but it's, it's going to be a little bit different um but you're going to yeah expect to see this this type of book um so we have energy items these are oh emergency items if you oh by the way if you lose your stuff um and say you lose your starter stuff you can actually click emergency items wait five minutes and it will respawn you with all of these different items here um, so yeah, that is just in case, just in case your whole thing gets, uh, destroyed. That is a thing you can do. Um, but I mean, I guess if you're speed running, you could probably have that run, but you have to sit on that page for five minutes, which honestly, you're better off probably just going down in that direction. But yeah, let's get us some wood going because we are going to need to get ourselves a platform started fairly soon. And, uh, one of the things we can also make is a crafting table. There is no Tinkers, so don't worry about that. Like I said, this pack is pretty limited in the amount of mods that it has, um, but it's not lacking in the quality of mods that it has. Uh, very good, very good mods that are in here. Um, such as Batania, there's things like that in here. Um, Draconic Evolution, which is kind of crazy. You may think, oh, well, Draconic Evolution? Why? Well, it's, it's late game. It's like a, um, you have to do the Draconic Evolution stuff to kind of um, progress. But yeah, as always, we're going to be building ourselves a lovely platform just to make sure that we we have a little bit more space and that we don't die because uh, nobody likes dying. Nobody does. Um, but let's go ahead and get this straightened up. But like, you said, like I said, don't mind that timer that's up at the top. You know what? I'm probably better off just hiding it. Uh, that way you guys can see there. It's not super important. But if you guys did want to speed run this, you do have that option available. And uh, you should be able to do so. All right, so we have a little bit more of a platform. I'm going to continue building this on. Um, I will see you guys in just a second as I work on getting some more wood. And uh, I get the platform built up. So I'll see you guys in just a second. So I'm just now finishing up uh, the mob farm. So I just wanted to go ahead and get the, uh, the mob grinder up as soon as possible. So that way skeletons will be spawning in here. That way we'll have access to more bone mill because having more bone meal is always a plus um, and uh, it's definitely needed. So we have that there. Now, this is a normal mob spawner. We can, of course, upgrade that thing uh, by throwing in some dirt. Now, we do have two of the cursed earth. Now, we don't want too much of this, but I can place at least one cursed earth in there. But for right now, I'm not too worried because this mob spawner should work pretty well on its own. Uh, we'll worry about that uh, Cursed Earth stuff later um, whenever we go to make a different mob spawner. But for right now, I did go ahead and set this up. Now, I did place all of this wood down here simply because I didn't want mob spawning on us while we weren't here. So let's go ahead and clear this out. Uh, I am going to try my best to take full advantage of the fact that we do have cobblestone here. Um, that is going to be one of the things we need to do. Plus, we need to place water down and we need to do it just right and get it just in the right location as we go down here, because uh, we are going to need access to that area. All right, so one of the few things we have, we have some sticks, uh, we have some of this, we have a bucket of water, we have a bookcase, and I'm pretty sure there's probably books in here. Yeah, all of our books that we'll probably need for most things are in here, and this uh, thing you can carry with you, so you can just throw that and keep everything nice and compact. You don't have to take, take all that room in your inventory. All right, so right here, is where we need to be very precise on where we place our water. Because we can place this, of course, in the wrong place. Um, and it's probably almost best that we place it away from the portal. Because um, we don't want to be right on the portal. So we may actually place this water directly down here. Like right here? Somewhere? And then we can just uh, make a little road on the side. Allowing us to walk past it but this is going to be our way down temporarily we are going to need some more wood i'm going to take all this wood here and i'm going to build that up because we're going to take this and we're going to follow this water down this is going to be a very dangerous endeavor uh, i need to watch this water because i really don't want that to go in that portal okay i think we're good in on that i don't, I don't think it's going to go into the portal Let's go ahead and eat. By the way, I almost forgot to mention there is Aura Excavator in this. Oh, look at all the look at all the mobs we got in there now. Yeah, we do have Aura Excavator in here. So, like I was doing, growing trees 
Um, I, I had 64 bone mill. I haven't used that much. But yeah, we do have ore excavator. So even on leaves, bam, it's a good way to get started early on and just rush it if you want to. Um, I'm not too worried about rushing. I did end up getting a pear, plum pear, which comes from tiny progressions and plum peaches, which I guess they come from saplings. Uh, I guess every now and then you have a chance of getting these things, which is really good because this is food. I'm not going to complain about free food, um, <laughs> especially in, in a pack like this. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head down. I think the portal is already lit. We just literally need some sort of uh, like some sort of platform just to build. So that way we'll have something when we go there. Um, but yeah, let's just take a look. Uh, we don't have too much. So we got to be careful in this water. You know, you know, do the whole head trick peek over the side so you don't drown sort of thing. That's what we're going to have to do. Um, and oh, <laughs> and not get knocked off by squid spawning. That is another big thing that we could possibly die from. But yeah, we're just going to mosey on down here and uh, go inside this nether portal. Now, I have played this pack. If you guys haven't caught, I did uh, do the beta testing for this pack um, and for the new update. So I was one of the original people to help with this. Um, this says, this is bedrock. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad to know this is bedrock. All right, so we're getting to a, the point where we see the portal. We're getting pretty close to the void. All right, so I'm going to be very careful on where I place these blocks. Whew. I got moved, and I think I was moved by a squid. That's the scary part. Okay, so, so we're out of here. We're good. We just need to be very careful on how we build this platform. And now that we know where the water is going to be, we can... Uh, did you see that squid? Like, that's how dangerous this is. Like, they could literally just spawn and knock me off at this point. And kill me. Like, squid are super dangerous right now. Man, that's the portal to the end, by the way. Uh, if you didn't already know that, that is what that is. Oh, man, that startled me. So yeah, this is, by the way, this is a good way to get ink. If you want to just stand here, <laughs> you can get ink. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go in here. This is, by the way, this is a, a little uh, trick that you can always do with your portals. They can be any size. So if you want to make them 3x3 three three, using more obsidian, you can. Let's take a, a little trip in here. I think we're, we're fine by doing that. Um, we got to be careful because this is what this looks like. Okay says the last gift and there's a piece of sand here and then below that is a chest okay so what i probably want to do is take this sand oh man good thing we get more sand in here all right so we get a, a pick we get a lava bucket we get a birch sapling and we get a seed back generator that seed back generator is going to be very handy now as of right now the the main thing that we need to do is sort of build a platform out a little bit. This is just for later on. So I'm going to build a standing platform here. And then out in the distance, we're going to have a little bit more. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Now you do want this a little ways away. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I'm going to start at 26 because 24 is the distance that the mobs will start to spawn. Uh, but we'll make a platform for them spawning out here uh, eventually because we're going to need to have uh, pigmen spawning. But we'll worry about that when pigmen do start to spawn. For right now, we need to kind of just go back because we need to make cobblestone generator and a few other useful little things that will come in handy. Look at that. As we come down here, by the way, we'll probably generate ink sacks just due to the fact that we do have water coming down here. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a little fun thing that we're going to have to do every now and again. And that is going up and down this water stream, being very careful not to be be it, uh, knocked off by squid. So we got to keep, keep a lookout for, for spawning squid. 
Uh, usually they won't, I mean, they may not spawn this high, I don't know, they, they may, I, we'll have to see. But uh, for right now, I'm going to head back up, and I should be good. Um, whenever we run low on bone mill is when we'll need to go over there and attack the uh, the mob spawner. And uh, as of right now, we really don't need much bone mill, so I'm not too worried about that. But we do have this, which means we can technically make a cobblestone generator, and we do have a pick, and we do have a little bit of cobblestone here. So really, ideally... Uh, let's take a look at cobblestone. Um, can cobblestone be made inside the resource generator? It can. So really, we don't need too much. We just need to use this cobblestone that exists here. Um, and yeah, we need to do something with it. Hmm. So we could build a platform just to be on the safe side when going down here and actually collecting this. Or we can just go after it because eventually we're going to get... Uh, a few pieces of cobblestone anyways Look at that. We can just gather enough to make a generator. It's really all we need There we go We have eight that's enough to make a cobblestone generator or not a cobblestone generator a furnace Wow, look at me. Look at me already already being smart with my my words um, So yeah, we have that done. Okay, so what we can do is take the seed back generator, and we gotta be careful. Um, but for right now, I'm going to place the seed back generator uh, on top of our furnace. I don't think it matters if we put it on top or bottom. You know what? We're gonna put it right here. And then in front of that, we're gonna put the furnace. And this is going to produce power from our furnace. And then on top of that, we're gonna place the resource generator. This is us just now getting started with this. Um, and then we're gonna need to I don't think we can stack these can we to make us full slab back no All right, so we're gonna need to get ourselves a few saplings And Let's do this We'll get a, a bit of wood. I'm gonna make another chest And the chest is where all of our stuff is gonna go because this will output to the top right here and then we're gonna need some wood and a stick. Uh, so we're gonna need another chest worth, so I guess we'll go ahead and clear this out. And we'll get ourselves another sapling. Is that a big one? That's a pretty big tree there. There we go. Alright. So that should be enough. At this point. So let's do that, and... Oh, I think it's something else. It's actually probably sticks surrounded by a piece of wood. Let's look. Let's look at this uh, frame. Because we're getting an item frame. Ah, it's sticks, yeah. Sticks surrounded by that. Let's grab some sticks. We're going to need a bunch of those. There we go. And we'll get an item frame. Perfect. Now this item frame, uh, for right now, what I can do is just, we'll get some cobble. The more of this we have, the better off we'll be. And so what we can do is we can slap cobble on the front of that. And inside here is where we're going to start burning some wood to actually generate cobblestone. So as you can see right here, that just produced cobblestone. And that's going to continue to produce cobblestone for right now until we can get better fuel in here. But for right now, this is going to be the best way because this is what we have. And the more we cook these apples, by the way, you get some really nice food from that. So I highly recommend cooking your apples uh, first. And as long as this is running, this will produce cobblestone. Now we can, of course, uh, produce other things. We are uh, plan on setting up a chest that will have all the things that we need to uh, reproduce in here. And uh, that'll be how we get started. But guys, this is the uh, this is the FTB Pyramid pack, pack early on. And like I said, we do have these the guides right here. Uh, these are the different progression steps that we need to take. And it doesn't matter which step you do first. Uh, really, you're going to have to see which path you can do first. It's not like a progressive or a uh, linear uh, ordering. You can literally try and do any of these first. Uh, there may be a few that you can't do first, but you'll have to see and, and experiment uh, as you go. Um, but like I said, I have completed this once, so I'm planning on doing it again. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this episode. Or not this episode, I'm sorry, this this series that we're going to be doing on this Pyramid Pack um, as we wait for other stuff to come out. But guys, 
Super awesome. Look at this. We've already generated quite a few things here. 49 cobblestone is what we've generated. And uh, you can always make more furnaces. And at this point, as long as we have some wood nearby, let's take a look. Slap that on here. Slap that here. And what we can do is split this up and make stone. And uh, since we have this, this is going to be how we produce even more cobblestone. And the more cobblestone we have early on, the more stuff we can smelt and the more items we can make. So that's going to be the early generation. But like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this series or this episode thus far. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.